hello out there welcome again to this tutorial on sequences and series in this video we'll be looking at word problems leading to arithmetic progression if you are joining us now check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get link to the playlist containing all the videos on sequences and series so we go with the first problem Problem 1. The initial annual salary of a storekeeper is $480,000. The salary increases by $3,500 every year for 6 years. Calculate A. His annual salary in the 6th year. B. The total amount he will earn in 6 years. So in our solution to this problem, we already know that this is an arithmetic progression with first term to be 480,000 and the salary increases by $3,500 every year so our D will be $3,500 and since it is a period of 6 years therefore our N will be equal to 6 now for A his annual salary in the 6th year so we are going for the sixth term of the arithmetic progression. So still remembering our formula, we have Tn equal to A plus N minus 1D. So here we'll be looking for T6 equal to A480,000 plus 5 since N is 6. So 6 minus 1 is 5. Then multiply by 3,500 since D is 3,500. So simplifying this, we carry out the multiplication first. So 480,000 plus 17,500 since 5 times 3,500 is 17,500. Summing up this, we have 497,500, which represents the annual salary in the sixth year so now we go for the total amount he will earn in six years so that is going to be the sum of all his salaries from the first year up till the sixth year so we'll now use our formula the sum of the nth term which is n over 2 into a plus l here we know our number of term to be 6, our A is 480,000 and uh, our L here is T6 which is the last salary for the 6 years. So we have S6 equal to 6 over 2 into 480,000 plus 497,500. So we have uh, 3 here. Adding this, that's going to be times 977,500. Then multiplying out, we have $2,932,500, which is the total salary in six years. And that is the end of solution to problem one. We go to problem two. For problem two, a newly employed storekeeper is placed on an annual salary of £36,000. He enjoys annual increment of £1,200 for four years, after which the increment goes up by £600. Calculate his annual salary in the eighth year. So in the solution to this problem, there are two parts. The first four years, and the next four years making a total of eight years so we look at the solution in that direction so the first four years we have uh, our first term there to be 36,000 and our common difference there since he enjoys annual increment of 1,200 pound so our common difference will be 1200 here our n is going to be 4 so you take note of that since we are calculating his annual salary so we are going to look for 
Tn equal to A plus N minus 1D. And here we are looking for T4. Our first term is 36,000. So our N is 4. So 4 minus 1 is 3. That will give us plus 3 times 1,200. So again, we find 1,200 times 3, which is going to give us 36,000 plus 3,600. Summing up this, we have 39,600 pound. That is the annual salary in the fourth year with the increment of 1,200 pound. So we now go again after which the increment goes up by 600 pound. So we go to the next four years now. That is going to give us the first term here. So here, the annual salary in the fourth year will be the first term for the beginning of the fifth year, sixth, seventh, and so on. So, and our common difference here, since the increment goes up by 600 pounds, so we are going to add 1,200 to 600, thereby giving us the common difference of 1,800. And remember, our N is still going to be 4 since it is the next four years. So we still use this uh, formula, but in this case, it is going to be T8 is equal to A. Our A is 39,600 plus 3, since N is still 4. Then multiply by 1,800. So we have 39,600 plus 5,400, since 3 times 1,800 gives 5,400. So summing up this, we have 45,000 pounds. That is the annual salary in the 8th year of service. And that is the end of solution to problem 2. Then we go ahead to problem 3. For problem 3, the salary of a police officer starts at 850,000 per annum. It increases by 4,800 Naira annually until it reaches a maximum of 888,400. How many years will it take him to reach the maximum salary? Um, in the solution of this problem, the annual salary of a police officer starts at 850,000. So that makes our A to be 850,000 and it increases by 4,800 Naira annually. So that's giving us the common difference of 4,800 until it reaches a maximum of 888,400 Naira. Um, that is going to give us TN. In this problem, we are looking for N because we don't know N. So we have a, a formula again Tn equal to A plus N minus 1 D. Our Tn here is 888,400 is equal to 850,000 plus N minus 1 times 4,800. So we are going to expand these brackets. So still maintaining these and these, 4,800 times N gives 4,800 N. Then 4,800 times negative 1 gives negative 4,800. So we still maintain this 888,400 here. 850,000 minus 4,800 gives 845,200 plus 4,800N. So if we take this to this side, we have 4,800N equal to 43,200. Because if we take this to this side, it will be 888,400 minus 845,200, which gives 43,200. Dividing both sides by 
4,800 will have n to be equal to 9, which is the number of years it will take him to reach the maximum salary of 888,400. And that's the end of solution to problem 3. We go to problem 4. For problem 4, a town hall has 15 seats on the first row, 21 seats on the second row, 27 seats on the third row, and so on. If there are 28 rows of seats in the hall, calculate the number of seats in the 15th row. How many seats are in the hall? So there are two parts of the problem. Then we look at it here. The first row has 15 seats. The second row has 21 seats. The third row has 27 seats. And so on up till the 20th row, which represents the 20th term. So if you look at this now, 21 minus 15 gives 6. 27 minus 21 gives 6. So it is an arithmetic progression of first term and the common difference being 6. So in our solution, we still remember we are looking for the number of seats in the 15th row, which is going to give us T15. And T15 will be equal to the first term, which is 15 plus 14 times 6. Since we have established that the common difference is 6. So that we now have 15 plus 14 times 6, which gives 84. Adding 84 to 15, we have 99. So there are 99 seats in the 15th row. So the second part is how many seats are in the hall. Since there are 20 rows of seats in the hall, we are going to find the sum of the arithmetic progression up to 20 terms. So that we now find the S20 to be 20 over 2 into 2 times 15, since the first term is 15, plus 19 times 6, since there are 20 rows in the hall. So we're now going to simplify. This is 10 into 30 plus 19 times 6, which is 144. That will give us 10 times 174, thereby giving us 1,740, which represents the total number of seats in the hall. And that is the end of solution to problem 4. This is where we are ending this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any question, place it on the comment section of our YouTube channel. Remember also to check the description section of this video on the channel to get the link to playlist containing all the videos on sequences and series. Until we come your way again, goodbye.